Interested in seeing how I make my finger loop reap? Stay tuned. Sharon. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for deciding to share a little bit of your time with me. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration and this collaboration is called the Ultimate Wreath Collaboration. And this collaboration is being hosted by Natalie of Design to Nines and Jennifer of A Little Bit Calm and Crazy. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. Make sure you stop by and check them out. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other participants participating in this collaboration. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share how I DIY beautiful and functional home decor while on a budget. I also like to share videos on travel, paper crafts, and meal prep too. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So as the title says, we are to create the ultimate Christmas wreath. Let me show you what I did. Let's get started. I got three bundles of the Loopity Loop yarn from Joanne Crafts. I got a wreath form from Michaels. I got an assortment of picks that I got from Michaels. I have a little um, ceramic house. I got that from Target and I got the bottle brush trees. Those came from Dollar Tree. Now it's a super easy wreath to make and I think it I love when the, the DIYs are easy but pack a lot of punch and I know I say that often but this is definitely one of those that fit that bill. Now I'm using this type of wreath form because it's what I had available to me but my suggestion is that you use the styrofoam ones. They have white and green. Um, if you're going to use white, if you're going to use white yarn as I'm using today, I suggest you get the white one. The reason that I say the the styrofoam one is preferred to this one is because you know for obvious reasons the sticks and the branches that stick out kind of make the wrapping process a little more trickier but it's not difficult to do you can still use this you can use the metal ones at the Dollar Tree or as I said earlier you can use the foam ones that are a solid green or a solid white your choice but I'm using this one because that's what I have you don't take it doesn't take a lot to um, get this started I am going to use a little hot glue if you're using if you're using the styrofoam one, you can just use a push pin. It would work just as well. And that's what I would use if I was using that type of wreath. And this is what it looks like. Now at this point, if you want to add, depending upon the type of loop you want, if you want to add a loop, this will be the time to add a loop. If you're going to just hang it from ribbon, on the end like this then that's fine but if you actually want to make a loop to hang it on your hanger you should probably do that now I on the other hand I'm not making a loop because this will fit perfectly inside my um, my wreath holder that's the back so I'm gonna flip this over and add a bead of hot glue And then I'm just going to wrap it. And I'm going to try and wrap it in, and be mindful of keeping the loops up top. You're going to fluff it when you're finished. You don't have to do as much fluffing if you do it this way.
I will continue this process all the way around. it over I'm going to snip it off and I'm going to hot glue that extra in all right that's it all done and because I tried to make sure as I wrapped it to keep the loops up at the top. I really don't have a lot of fluffing to do. use that too in the center. That would have been pretty. What do you guys think? Hmm. The blue would have given me that pop of color, I think, that I'm looking for. And I like that. But I think I'm going to go, I don't know, what do you guys think? The blue one or the silver? for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my ultimate Christmas wreath. And since you've made it this far into my video, look down below in the description box and follow that link to see the other content creators and their contribution to this collaboration. I had lots of fun and I want to thank Natalie of Design Denines and Jennifer of A Little Bit Calm and Crazy for inviting me to participate in their collaboration. As I said earlier, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And leave me a comment because I enjoy hearing from you. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!